Hello everyone. Today we are going to see what is the syllabus regarding energy auditing and demand side management R15 regulations for triply final year first semester. Energy demanding energy auditing and demand side management. What is energy? What is the energy auditing? What are the syllabus regarding how to prepare for energy auditing and demand side management? Chapter wise we will see. First we go for syllabus regarding after that uh, syllabus introduction to you then we go for in depth of unit 1 2 3 4 5 according to jnt anantapur syllabus thank you the syllabus regarding energy auditing and demand side management you can see it is fourth year first sem what is the main objective of this subject this objective of course is to learn about energy consumption and situation in india Today everybody needs energy, power, without power we can't do anything. What is auditing? You know in accounts auditing. Accounts auditing in the sense they will find what are the problems, what are the errors occurred in accounts. Similarly energy situation, energy auditing, saving of energy and how to save the energy, how to improve the power factor so many factors will be discussed in the energy demand energy auditing and demand side management what are the instruments we are using what are the demand side management those will be entire subject coming to unit 1 let us see the unit 1 introduction to energy auditing the first unit is introduce what is energy auditing what is energy consumption situation in india as well as world what are the energy sources for India across the world? How to save electrical energy? That is conservation. You can see here the conservation. What are the standards, codes and legislation, rules in India, energy audit, definitions and concept types of energy audit. What is energy index, cost index? Sankey diagrams these are the diagrams pie charts how to how the energy is consumed that is represented in one chart that is energy conservation schemes what are the energy conservation schemes how to save electrical energy you know by replacing the incandescent bulbs with energy efficient led bulbs then you can save energy that is simple example but uh, if you save electrical energy, one unit of saving of energy equal to generation of three units. Coming to unit two, energy efficient motors. Energy efficient motors means 100% efficiency we can't obtain nowadays in motors. If energy efficient motors means 100% efficiency motors, those are how to construct those motors and what are the power factor improvement. All this will be in unit 2 power factor improvement power factor improvement also you can study in electrical distribution system subject power factor methods of improving power factor with non-linear loads what is linear load what is non-linear load power factor improvement all this will be in unit 2 coming to unit 3 light and energy instruments for audit lighting control different meters also will study energy instruments lighting instruments data loggers thermocouples pyrometer pyrometer used to measure illumination lux meter long testers applications of plc's programmable logic controllers in this unit 3 we will study about uh, lighting and energy instruments for audit Coming to unit 4, demand side management. What is the DSM, demand side management? You know various factors related to demand, load factor, demand factor. Concept of uh, demand side management, we'll see in unit 4. Similarly, unit 5 is economics and cost effectiveness tests of DSM programs. This is the taxes and what is the tariff importance of evaluation of uh, economics cost effectiveness 
measurement and verification of demand side management programs cost effectiveness for test demand side management program this is a syllabus regarding energy auditing and demand side management after completion of this course the student able to understand able to learn conduct energy auditing and evaluating energy audit results energy audit results motor energy audit how to save electrical energy or this energy conservation energy conservation in the sense saving of electrical energy by using high efficient motors we can save electrical energy means losses will be reduced this is the syllabus regarding unit 5 let us go for unit 1 introduction to energy auditing this is the lecture notes on energy auditing and demand side management we can see the lecture notes coming to unit 1 syllabus regarding this again unit 1 introduction what is the energy situation in india the unit 1 is energy auditing in that energy situation in india and world energy consumption nowadays how it will be energy consumption is increased as compared to last decade totally everywhere we are using energy as the technology advances energy consumption also increases energy situation in india world and india what is the situation the energy is essential for any society the future of nation the fusion of country depends on energy if the energy is 24 hours into 7 days available then the development of country economic development of country especially depends on energy due to lack of energy sources in olden days the india goes backward it gone back for direction it is essential for the society the first one is adequate energy supplies are crucial to our pattern of life our pattern of life the pattern which we are living depends on energy if you go for villages the villages the pattern of life is different if you go for cities and metropolitan cities the pattern of the culture of the people different from that is energy consumption also will be more without adequate energy supplies our society cannot function that is a proper energy supplies is required if the power cuts are more the function of society will be different if any circumstances under flood circumstances or if any flood occur due to chennai or if you go for hudhud tufan then due to power outages what happen the transport facilities are disturbed not only that power cuts the transportation sector is particularly energy disruption and uncertainties economic growth as well as projected population growth of 1% a year for the us us cities coupling between energy and economy has been reduced but it is still a reality like that uh, we will see in next semi next class we will see energy auditing demand side management what is the things are happening in energy auditing in 1975 you can see electricity has been increased almost to lock up step with the gdp 1975 to 1995 energy situation energy auditing and demand side management entirely will discuss unit 1 will be started soonly prior to that please subscribe and press bell icon don't forget to like thank you viswam engineering college madanapalli aahladakaramaina vaataavaranalu anubhavajnulaina adhyapakulu chee vidya bodhana digital classrooms mariyu library achyadhunikamaina lab saukaryam wifi campus industrial visits 
and educational tools personality development and soft skills training open gym bala balagalaku campus lo ni veru veru ga hostel vasathi kaladu vidyarthulaku chaduvu tho paatu manasika ullasam koraku sports and games madrapalli mariyu parisara pranta vidyarthulaku mariyu staff ku bus saukaryam kaladu prathi samvatsaram campus interviews nirvahisthu vidyarthulaku pramukha mnc company lalo udyoga avakasalu kalpisthuna samstha Viswam Engineering College, Madanapalli. Courses offered: B.Tech, Civil, C.Sc.E., E.Sc.E., Triple E, Mechanical, M.Tech, Civil, C.Sc.E., E.Sc.E., Mechanical, M.B.A., Finance, H.R., Marketing, Systems. Welcome to Future World. Viswam Engineering College, Madanapalli. Cell numbers: nine one triple three zero one three eight five and nine one triple three zero one three nine seven.